fighters around here. What, what do you think is uh, the fight time for Chicago? I mean, the pedigree, I mean, the pedigree boxing just in Chicago alone is, is truly amazing. Um, uh, you know, like I said before, hopefully we can we can sign some of this young talent in Chicago and um, back the young talent and take them to that next level. You going for the knockout point? Do I think the knockout can happen? Absolutely. Uh, we don't know. But I, you know, like I said before, you know, uh, I'm going to continue to believe in my skills, I'm going to believe in my talent. Uh, uh, I got a great team. My team has done everything that I asked of my team. You know, it's my job to go out there, go out there, sit to the board team, and I'll do what I do best. Boy, he not, my boy, he, he knocked out uh, Carlos Baldomir, and you did not. What was the difference between his fight and your fight against Carlos Baldomir? I got you, but he, you both dominated the fight, but he didn't knock him out. Why don't you ever look for the knockout versus a Guerrero or Baltimore? Why don't we ever see the knockout? I mean, he said, well, you know, a lot of guys coming, you know, coming to a fight, facing Floyd Mayweather, uh, looking just to survive, looking just to say, you know what, I want the distance uh, with Floyd Mayweather. You know, uh, things happen, and this is the sport of boxing. Uh, people don't remember how many knockouts you, you do or you don't have. People only remember winners. Yeah, but Floyd, you're the great. Fighter of my generation, you're a masterful fighter. A fight like Guerrero, when you dominate a fight, don't you want to look for the knockout to give your fans what they want to see well, at the end, man? Well, hopefully, I don't know if you was watching the fight. I watched the fight. It's still alive. Very much you Well, if you was there uh, live, and I took my glove off, and I took my wraps off. Your head. You had a chance to look at my head. What about Baldomir, though? Fights like that, though. You go for the knockout at the end. You're already dominated. When you're fighting Floyd Mayweather, you're going to push yourself to the limit. Floyd. To the pinnacle. Baldomir never hoped. This guy Canelo, and he's facing. He think he's a guy just with a blown, a blown up record. He was only 20 though. Uh, age has nothing uh, to do with it. They with him though. Well, Floyd is. It, it has nothing to do with the most of it. We got about the Canelo. In general, in general, why do you want to fight? Floyd is different, but uh. They did with Tintin. Yo, Floyd is. Yo, Floyd is different, but you ever feel?
September 14th, and that's the place to be. You consider that your, fa your famous fight town? Yeah, famous fight town? Sorry, Larry. Who's coming out with you? Are you going to any rappers coming out with you at this match? Uh, we don't know. But most likely, it will be the best guy, which is the little way. Floyd, you're always saying that you are the one, the fighter, uh, the best of your generation. Who do you recognize, present or, or in, in the past, as a fighter on your level, now or in the well, times back? Well, you know, it's the critics. The critics put these guys on certain levels. And then, um, when, I think when certain fighters come up short, uh, then the same guys that put them on a high level, so you know, things happen. You live and you learn. But you, but you own list the guys you will consider uh, equal to you now or in the past. I, I don't know. You what must you know. know. I don't. Know. Why do you consider yourself the greatest boxer of all time? I'm, just, I'm, I'm a very excited fighter. That know, know how to go out there and get the job done. Holy Malin Ash, you want to rematch versus Broner? Would you like to see that? Uh, uh, Majin Ali and Broner. That's not my business. You don't want to see another rematch? Majin Ali, Broner, that's not my business. What do you want next for Broner? Anything? I'm, I'm proud that Broner got the victory, and uh, I wish him nothing but the best. What about E.J. Smith versus Molina? Who do you got in that fight? Obviously, your guy. Um, <laughs> Compare to, to when you fought De La Hoya and, and, and you went on the 2007 the big city tour. I think that you know um, my fan base has grown. My fan base has grown, and um, I think it was a a brilliant game plan to keep putting Canelo on my undercard so he can he can build him a fan base and then ultimately face myself and we come together and get a fancy and exciting fight. When you hear the reception that Canelo gets from all the fans, do you feel like you're partially responsible for that because he, he did fight on a lot of your undercards? I mean, of course, you know, Canelo fought on a lot of my undercard, a lot of my undercards. He was able to uh, build his name. He always fought in the pre-main event and uh, he hasn't had a chance to go on pay-per-view by, him, by himself yet. So, once again, um, he's the B-side, I'm the A-side, but he's a young, strong champion, uh, you know, a guy that I can't overlook. And uh, September, I go out there and do what I do best. Did you ever contemplate of fighting overseas, like a big arenas in England, big arenas in Germany? Uh, MGM. You are a global fighter. MGM is what I love. And, uh, 